Hi, and welcome to the Calculus 2 lecture series. This is uh, unit number four. We talk about the sequence and the series. And uh, we are going to the lecture number 20. And uh, this is the part two of the lecture number 20. At the part one, we talk about the ratio test. So for the part two, we're going to talk about the root test. Okay, okay, so let's go ahead, uh, go to our lecture notes here. Okay, so first let's take a look what is the, the root test. So the root test is very similar, like the, you know, the, like the ratio test here. Okay, so we have, a, let's define it. So we said uh, if uh, the limit n approach to infinity. And uh, so this is your a n, and this is your n roots here, right? And so if this one is equal to, if limit exists, and uh, this limit is less than one, then we say here, then we say that this series n from one to infinity a n is come absolutely converging. Okay, so the key things here is like the limit exists and the less than one, then it's absolute convergence here. Okay, so the, then the next time, next one's here. So we say if the limit n approach to infinity and uh, the a n, the I take the n's roots. If this is l and l is greater than one so here, or you know, the, if I find the greater than one, or if this limit going to the infinities, infinity, then we said uh, series summation m from one to infinity, the a n is a divergence. Okay, so the last one is the similar like the ratio test. So we say it's a limit and approach to infinity. And uh, this is a n and the n is equal to one. Then the root test is uh, inconclusive. Okay, so those are the few things so we need to be careful so here. So it's inconclusive if it's equal to one. And uh, if it's greater than one, then we say it's a divergence here, all right? Okay, so now let's take a look at some examples here. They said, uh, determine whether the each, uh, each series is a converging or diverging by the root test here. Okay, so for here, the first one is Pretty simple. So I have a limit and approach to infinities, right? And then I will take the absolute value of the a n to the nth power. And this is a limit and approach to infinity. And then here is n because this is all positive. So I can say this is n plus one to the nth power. So this will just be the n approach to infinity one over n plus one. So what is one over n plus one limit going to be? Going to be equal to zero. So I know this series here is n plus one to the n is what is a convert, what absolutely, right? It's because of I did take it up, you know, the, if you take a look, I did take the absolute value here. That's why we say it's a converging absolute. Okay, let's take a look at the second ones here. So this is 3n to the n cube. Okay, 3n to the n cube. So for this one see here, we say, okay, let's do the root test. So limit and approach to infinities, right? So this is the n. And uh, this is the n cube, and this is 3n, and uh, both of them are positive. So if you want to put a limit, you can put, or you can just uh, 
live like that. Okay, so the first, uh, the, this is three n to the three to the nth power. So this nth uh, roots. The top one is easy. We we'll just come out as three, right? And uh, the bottom one is here. This is n to the cube with n to the roots. So what do you have is a three. It's one over n here. Okay, so now when you try to take the limit and approach to infinity, three is the constants here. So let's take a look, how do I do? So like a limit n approach to infinity n to the three n, this one is kind of like a <clears throat> three of n go to zero, right? So it's kind of like infinity to the zero power. So from the previous section, when we talk about the local Petrus rule, we know the infinity to the zero power is what is indeterminate, right? So that means we don't know what is the value. So how do we know what is the um, limits for here? So let's take a look here. So let's say if I will set y equal to the n to the three n, okay? So then I will take the log y both sides. So this is the three n and this is log what? Log n. Now I will take the limit and approach to infinity. Okay, so let's see what is this one here. So that means this will be the three and the natural log n to the what? To the n's, right? So this term, so for these terms here, right? So this will become here. And then you still got what? You still got infinity over infinity. Then I then, oh wow, okay. So this one I can use the what? Local petals rule to do that. So you take the derivative on the bottom will be the one. You take the derivative on the top, the natural log will be one over n. So here will be what? Limit n approach to infinity three to the n. So what is here? Here is zero, right? So I know the natural log of y going to approach, will be approached to zero when the n is approached to infinity. So now you can take the e both sides, right? So this will be e to the zero. So what is the y? y is equal to one. So I know this, uh, so I know this limit, right? Approach to what? Approach to one. Okay, so that's how do I prove this limit approach to what? Approach to one here. So what is my final answer? My final answer is a three. And the three is what is greater than one. So what happened to this? Okay, so what happened to this one here? This. So this one will be what? This will be divergence here, all right? Okay, so now let's take a look at the, the another examples here. This is the one with the, is like alternating roots here. Okay, alternating series here. So let's take a look what happens here. So the same way here, I would say the limit and approach to infinity then I'm taking the nth roots. I take the absolute value, negative one, n plus one. So because it's the absolute value, I don't really care about this negative sign anymore, right? So this will just be what? This will just be one over n to the one over n. So from the problem part, part B of the problem, we we just did, we know what is the limit n approach to infinity n to the one n, we say is once, right? So from here, that's what we did here, right? So we said uh, this one's here will be once here, all right? So the now, because this is one, so the what is the whole thing's here? Whole thing's here, this is one. And uh, because we know this is one is, so the root, so I know the root test here is inconclusive. Okay, so I so I don't know what is the, you know, I cannot use the root test, but then I can do like this. I said limit and approach to infinity one over n 
equal to zero. And so I will know this is n equal to one to infinity. So this series is converging. Why? Is by the water test alternating, right? By the alternating series test. So I know this is a converging. Now let's take a look what happened to the end. So like um, if you want to see what happened, like the absolute value of the AM. So for the this ones here, the absolute value of the AM is N from one to infinity means what? One over N, okay? So if this is one over N, so I know this is what? This is a divergent. Why? It's by what? By harmonic, right? Okay, so I know this, uh, so for this series is not, uh, so this series is not converging absolutely. So I can conclude that this series here is what? Is a convergence, what? A conditional, right? So this is a conversion conditional. Okay. All right, that's it. So this part two is a pretty simple part. It's very similar like the ratio test. And uh, so you just take the nth roots for that. So it will be a good candidate if your series like uh, we have here, like, a, um, like a, for example, the, this one is a very uh, standard, right? So it have the nth roots and uh, you know immediately the root test probably will be the best one. Now here have the nth roots here, then you probably say, okay, I can use the roots test. But uh, for you do the roots test here and uh, try to find uh, the limit to the n to the one over n is like, uh, you know, you need to know how to do that, okay? Okay, that's it. Let's use the that's the root test. Uh, and uh, so the, uh, looking forward to talk to you our next topic. See, all right. So have a good day. Okay, bye-bye.